Hey everybody, Jess Piping. Welcome to Mystery Monday with the Paladin Challenge. Uh, today we're going to be looking at trying to figure out what mystery blend number one is. Yeah. And what we're going to be smoking it in is this Royal Duke. I like this thing. Yeah. Thanks again, Kevin, for sending this along. It's got that nice Prince type shape to it. Yeah, I dig it. So brand new pipe. <clears throat> this is just going to be used, a uh, little recap. This is just going to be used for the Paladin Challenge. So all the blends, one through six, will all be smoked out of this uh, pipe. And uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. So what we're going to try, this is right up my alley. Yeah. Um, I'm new to pipe smoking and uh, one of my thing, something that I like to do that's enjoyable, I have fun with is um, picking up a tobacco that I know very little about and just trying it. Yeah. Just to see what it is. And this is uh, pretty much what this entire challenge is going to be. Uh, Kevin sent me six samples. I put them all in jars. You can see the previous video uh, of us jarring it up. And so we're going to crack this open for the first time, take a look at the tobacco, smell it, and then we're going to smoke it. And I'm going to try to pick out um, what's in the blend. Bonus points if I get the actual name of the tobacco, but I, I don't think I'll be. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It's going to be fun. I know as much as you know. So, okay, <clears throat> let's uh, take a look at it. Oh, I'm smelling something already. <laughs> okay, so here's what we got. Um, it's kind of the cut and the color. Oh, here. Trying to get it to not ref be reflective. There, there you go. So, yeah. Let's take a look. So it's 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 dark in color, a little bit of light browns in there. It's mostly kind of blackish. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, um, I'm I've got a fresh palette. My sniffer's working great today, so that's why I'm recording this. I think I'm a hundred percent, you know, sinuses today. Boy, there's some of that campfire kind of, uh, I'm, I'm also smelling a light floral in there, a light floral, but I am getting that There's a, there's a smoky element to it. Yeah. I'm at a disadvantage because I have yet to handle any dark fired Kentucky. I'm only going off of what I, you know, what I've read or what you guys are, you know, out there say about it. I have never smoked any or smelt any yet. I think I got a sample of it, but like I say, I have no experience with dark fired. And I'm wondering if that's what's in here, if that's the smell. This is also, you know, educational too for me 
to know what all these things t taste and smell like, all these different leaves or blends. Yeah, there's definitely like a campfirey or a burning, a smoky burning something, kind of woody, with a hint of floral in there though. That's what's throwing me. Or is it fruity? Oh boy, this is going to be tough. I don't know all the Virginias either, you know, the stoves and the reds and the brights and, you know, I'm still a novice at all that different Virginias too, so. Hmm. Well, let's pack it. Let's pack a bowl and see uh, what it tastes like. I, I, right now, I'm going to say... It's almost some oriental kind of character to it, too. What I'm mostly getting is a little campfire, you know. Um, after a, an entire evening of enjoying the fire and you just got, uh, there's still some flame on the log, but it's mostly black and just wisps of smoke. It's not a super strong uh smoky smell it's it's kind of subdued but it's there it's definitely there boy uh i don't know <clears throat> let's give it a taste maybe i'll taste something familiar pack a full bowl too. Um, if there's long pauses while I'm smoking, you know, I'll cut take that and edit it out. But I'm just going to keep this this rolling and through the entire experience. I wonder if that's burly leaf in there, that lighter brown. I see some kind of larger pieces. I don't know, we'll see. All right, it's a sitter too, so that's nice. Um, yeah, boy. Hmm. Kind of woody, smoky. Okay, we're fresh. I'll just set that right there. Let's, uh, I'm going to use matches throughout this whole thing, too. Hmm. 
Dang it. Maybe a little wataki in there too. Now we're going. Hmm. A little peppery too. Huh. You know what else I don't know? Parique. And because this is so unfamiliar, I'm going to say there's some perique in here. Just a little bit, though. Just a little. Because I think it would, I think I would notice if there was a large amount of perique, because it would be extremely foreign to me. I have no idea what perique tastes like. And there's something smoky kind of in here, peppery something or another. That makes me think Perique. It's really good, though. It's really good. I think once I know what this is, I'm going to have to buy some. It's really good. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you didn't... Well, I don't know. This is just the first one, but... I don't know if you, any of you out there around the holidays and stuff, you get those jelly beans, you know, bean boozled game or whatever, and they have like some pretty disgusting jelly beans. Like you'll have, you know, a lemon meringue and a rotten egg. They're the exact same color. You can't tell the difference. You can't smell them because they're kind of hard shelled. You have to actually eat it. I hope there's I hope there's not like a play a trick on Jess blend in here. But this one's really good. Well, so far, I'm gonna smoke this some more. I'm gonna take a pause here and just smoke on it for a bit. So far, I'm going to say. There's some Latakia in here. I don't think there's Burley in here at all. Dark fired maybe, a little dark fired. Uh, 
right. I'm going to smoke this for a bit and try to figure out what exactly is going on here. There's some pepper, peppery type something going on. I think I'm tasting some Latakia in there. I wish I knew what Perique tastes like. What are we at here? Okay. Um, Dark Fired Kentucky, Latakia, and uh, some kind of English element, like an Oriental. This is difficult. It's fun, but it's a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I knew I wasn't going to be able to, to pick out a Perique, because I don't know. I've never smoked a Perique. I've never handled a Perique. I don't have any Perique. very smoky and, and spicy, peppery. It's smoky, peppery, and it's got a little floral to it. And it's damn good. <laughs> That's my guess. Hmm. It's changing a little bit. Getting to the bottom of the bowl. Now I'm tasting the floor a little bit more than just smelling it in the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. I'm going with a. Wow, that's really, really good. I'm going to go with, there's dark fired Kentucky in there. Yeah, I'm going with dark fired Kentucky. Yeah, there's definitely, that's got to be one of my guesses. Smells so not like it tastes. Yeah, I'm gonna go with dark fired Kentucky, Latakia, and Oriental. That's what I'm going with. One more last light real quick for good measure. Not much left. Yeah, we're done. Well, yeah, that was a lot more difficult than I had thought. Um, <clears throat> That's what I'm going with, folks. <laughs> and it was yummy. 
Yeah, I'm going to go with Dark Fired. Uh, Latakia and an Oriental. Only because I don't know what Perique tastes like. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. An Oriental, Latakia, Dark Fired. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see how close I am. I don't know. Uh, this week, I'm going to be trying some more uh, samples that I've gotten in. Instead of smoking my normal, you know, my... My normal uh, black and bourbon and uh, heavily cased Molta Dolce. Uh, I do have some creme brulee coming in. So I might smoke a bowl of that just to see how close it is to Molta Dolce. But other than that, I'm going to start smoking my samples. I smoked Smoker's Choice. Um, yeah, I think it was my last video. Um, I couldn't focus on it too much just because of the video, you know, the content of it. I was, wasn't was really concentrating on the smoke so much, but uh, it tasted good. I can't really tell you what was in it right now. I don't remember it that much, but I'm going to start, you know, smoking those. I got a lot of those types of samples, stuff that I've never, you know... Uh, it's been pretty basic stuff for me so far, you know, just a lot of aromatics and, uh, you know, just your bulk ribbon cut aromatics, basically. Um, but I, I really like and I'm familiar with and could blindfold and pick out um, early morning pipe because I think that tobacco it is probably up to this point since I started smoking a pipe. Uh, by volume, I think that's, you know, the top runner. I've smoked a lot of early morning pipe. Um, and I get some of that uh, Latakia Lat in here. You know, I, I get some of that in there. So that's why I'm going with that. The Dark Fired, I'm unfamiliar with, but it's got to be pretty distinct. Of a, and that's why I'm picking that. Um, so yeah, and the Oriental, I, I mean, it's got like a sweet floral in it too. So it could be a Virginia, <clears throat> could be a Virginia, but I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with, he gave me a dark fired Oriental Latakia blend. All right, Kevin, let me know <laughs> so I can pick some of this stuff up. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this uh, round one. Um, who knows what's next? Uh, but this one was kind of difficult for me just because I haven't smoked a lot of this type of blend. Like I said, you know, aromatics, that type of thing. So this one was a little more difficult for me. And um, yeah, I'm going to be... Uh, Really interested to know what this is. So, yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. That was round one. And uh, stay tuned for round two. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. <laughs>